So hey guys, welcome to the channel learning competitive programming with CodeChef. So if you want to learn competitive programming and get a good hold on data structures and algorithms, this is the right platform for you. Every week there are several videos on various competitive programming topics and the editorial videos of CodeChef contest. So if you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and turn on the bell notification. Myself, Chirayu Jain, I am a CodeChef educator and the topic that we are going to take today from the sorting algorithm is insertion sort. Okay guys, so now let's start with the basics of the insertion sort algorithm, right? So what is insertion sort algorithm? Insertion sort is a simple algorithm which pick the element from the unsorted array and then keep it in the sorted array, right? So we have a simple array. We are dividing it into the two parts that is the unsorted array and the sorted array. We pick one element from the unsorted array and keep it in the sorted array at its exact position, right? Now, what similarity do, can, do you uh, you can get from this right so while you play the cards right so if some of you play the cards and then see while you're sorting the things right so what do you do you just pick one card and keep that in the exact position okay so from between two and five three will come right so you pick you put that there right so this algorithm works exactly the similar way it just pick one element from the unsorted part and then keep it at its exact position so just like how you play cards so this is a perfect example to explain you what the insertion sort really is and the man behind the insertion sort is john bentley who showed that this simple algorithm and this is a, like a three or five line code that he wrote and then he showed this algorithm so this is the guy who just uh showed this particular insertion sort logic or algorithm right so these are some basic things regarding the algorithm now let's start with the understanding of insertion sort and then we'll proceed towards coding that okay guys so now let us understand the insertion sort algorithm with the help of an example right so we have seen the basics that what intuition does inser insertion sort have that is the playing cards right so now let us take this is the unsorted array and we need to sort it right so how we can do this the elements are nine three six one four so let's say that this is the sorted element and we are beginning with the array right so first of all we'll do the comparison of these two elements right how we'll do it that whether this three at what position do it exist in the sorted array so obviously three should come before nine so we have taken three before nine right so we have done the swapping in all the things we'll see in the code that how we are shifting the elements but yeah we have done the thing and three is at this position and nine is at this position so now this array becomes the sorted array whatever element it have right the elements are in the sorted manner now this portion the remaining portion right the remaining portion we have here uh, is the unsorted part now we need to pick one element from the unsorted part and see what is the position of this element right so we will keep will pick six and see what is the position so it will come before nine yes and then it should come after three so it will come in between three and nine so this is the exact position of six and similarly we will do the swaps and then keep the position of six here right so we'll see in the implementation part that how we are just manipulating and keeping this element over here but it is the point of understanding over here right so we have kept six over here now similarly we'll have this whole portion as sorted and this two elements are remaining in the unsorted portion so we'll pick one element that is one only from here and then we'll try to keep it in the sorted array so what will be the position of one obviously it should be before all of these elements right so it should be the first position it should be the first sorry not here it should be yeah so here it should be the first position of the uh, array right so we have kept one here and the three six nine are after one now only the last element is left and that is four so what we need to find the exact position of four as well in the sorted part so we'll just see it, is, it should be before nine it should be before six but it should be before it, sh it should be after three right so this is the position for four so we'll keep it at that position and then the answer come that is this particular sorted array which is one three four six nine the idea is quite simple just imagine whenever you're writing the insertion sort code just try to imagine the playing cards that you have some unsorted playing cards and you are picking up from the unsorted thing unsorted subarray and then point, uh, keeping it down the sorted, uh, sorted path in its exact position right so that is the best thing you can uh, do while for building the intuition for the insertion sort right so now let's see how we can write the code and understand that how this thing works right keeping the element in the sorted part so let's see the code of the insertion sort okay guys so now let us understand the code for the insertion sort the things we have learned the example we have understood now let's try to implement that 
we are writing the code on code chef id so I, the code is already pre written i wrote down the code now let's just focus on the explanation right the understanding of the code okay so let's see so let us understand with the same flow firstly we'll go through the driver function right so we have taken the input n and uh, we are making the array of n and we are entering the n elements in that particular array and now we are calling the insertion sort function and the two things that we are passing is the array and the n that is the number of values that we have okay so and after that we are printing down the sorted array so after the insertion sort function is executed we'll get the sorted array okay so this is the driver function now let us go to the core algorithm of insertion sort right so we have the array and the value of n that is the number of number of values so we take the three uh, values now i j and the element so we'll see what are these values representing so element i and j these three values are taken so now for i equals to 1 i less than n i plus plus so what we can do is like instead of we can write int i over here also like int i so we need not to take this value explicitly outside so we can just take int element nj right so if int i is equals to 1 and i less than n i plus plus so we are starting off with the first value technically the second value not the value which is present at the zeroth position why because that is that is obviously sorted there is nothing to compare this value with uh, any other value right so at the position 0 there is only one entity that is remaining so now we need some other entity to compare with so we are starting with position 1 let us name the value which is present at position 1 as array of i right so this is the element oh sorry let us name the array of i as this element right so we have taken a variable element also so this is the element which we got at the first position row right j will be equal to i minus 1 j is the pointer which is keep tracking till the till which position we need to go back right so why we need to go back just to find the place of this particular element right so every time we are selecting something from the unsorted array and then just placing it down in the sorted array so we need to find the position where we need to place it so this j keeps track of that position so firstly we are initializing the j with i minus 1 why i minus 1 because from the ith position the unsorted array is starting right from the ith position the unsorted array is starting from the i minus 1th position, the sorted array is there. So from the i minus 1 position, we'll track that, okay, this value is greater, this value is greater, okay, this value is smaller, so we'll keep it after that, right? So this is the case. So j will be equal to i minus 1. Now we'll run a while loop over here. While j is greater than or equal to 0, and array of j is greater than element, that is what we are doing. We have took the value, now we are starting in the sorted array from the end okay so if this element is greater that means it the the element that we are taking should be should come before that if this element is greater it should come before that so what we will doing we are just changing array of j will be equal to array of j plus one array of j will be equal to array of j plus one because we are just shifting down the values this value will be equal to this this value will be equal to this this value will be equal to this at this position it will place right so array of j plus one will take the value that is uh, array of j right so we are shifting the values now the element which we took right is now manipulated with the value that is stored at array at j right so that is why we have taken explicitly the element at this position right now we are shifting the values and we are keep decrementing the j till which point till array of j is greater than element when we encounter any element when we encounter any array of j which is less than the element that means it should the our element should place after that right so when this loop is terminated what we will do we got the element which is lesser than the given uh, element that we took so what we will do at its after position that means at j plus one position we'll keep our element that is this element right so this is what we are explicitly doing in insertion sort right so i'll explain you once more first of all we'll take the whole array we'll start from the first position right because only zeroth position is already sorted so we'll start from the first position i minus one denotes that okay from this position we'll we'll be taking we'll be finding the place for that element right from the unsorted array and then we'll look forward for it so while j is greater than or equal to zero and the elements which we're encountering in j are greater than the element which we need to keep on that position so we'll decrement the value and we'll start shifting that array of j plus 1 will be equal to array of j 
and we'll keep decrementing the j and after that we found out that okay after this element our uh, the insertion should happen for the uh, uh, element which we have picked up so we'll keep uh, we'll uh, keep the element at position j plus 1 right because at position j the element is smaller so at position j plus 1 we should keep our element that is we have picked up for all the elements we will do like this and then we'll get a final array so let's see how the code is running for this particular input okay so yes we are getting the desired output that is 1 2 3 4 5 for the given input of unsorted array so this is how the insertion sort algorithm works for the time complexity we can see that we are learning a loop that is still n uh, that is the exterior loop and in the interior we are uh, traversing all the elements back right till that whatever element we get uh, which is lesser than the given element we picked up right so in the worst case this can run up to like prior elements before right and in the worst case what time complexity do we get for each and every traversal, like for example, three, we are traversing till back. For two, we are traversing till back, right? Like whatever the value we are picking, we need to traverse from the worst case, till the worst case, right? So the time complexity for this particular insertion sort algorithm will be order of n square, right? Because we need to tra first we need to traverse for each element and then from the previous array, we need to fix the element position, right? Then we need to figure out all the elements prior also, right? So in the worst case, the time complexity for this particular solution is order of n square. 